Hello, welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. It's Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and you know what that means. It's episode four of the Faster XP 2012 series. And in this video, we are going to cover how to remove those nasty viruses from your Windows XP machines without installing anything. That's actually why this is kind of a fun video to make because a lot of people think they gotta install a full antivirus package and a lot of viruses don't let you do that. I mean, if the virus is nasty enough, you can't do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in this particular video, we're gonna use two freeware tools that I do have available on my website. I got a bunch of other ones there too that we're gonna cover uh, very briefly. And if you don't have any luck with these two, you can actually just jump on those. So let's go ahead and open up uh, my website. I'm gonna open up a browser. Again, I'm using Internet Explorer until later. Should just put Chrome on here. That way I don't have to explain it every video. But once you're at my website, just select the free downloads. You can either just select it, it'll show a whole list of everything I have, or you can just go straight down to anti-malware. This is where I keep all of my antivirus and anti-malware suites. And then we're gonna be looking at the Kaspersky tool first. This is an online scanner. And then we're gonna be looking at the ESET NOD32 tool, tool. NOD32 tool, 30 tool tool, 32 tool. And, uh, and these two are, as you can see, two amongst like 14 of them I've got down here. So you can use all these. And they're really good at uh, you know finding things. So, but I usually start with these two, and uh, then we're, we're going to use malware bytes later. But that's for more for malware than it is viruses. So let's go ahead and select free downloads. Let's just bring up the page. That way everyone can kind of see what's going on here. And we're going to go to anti malware, and let's scroll down to removal tools, and we're going to select Kaspersky. 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 Wow, I can really speak English good today, huh? Speak English good. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the page to download it. And I'm gonna click the download link and it brings us up to the Kaspersky page. Now, at this point, I'm gonna say, product form, Kaspersky, oops, open up the form, let's go back. We don't want that. This browser's so slow, how do people use Internet Explorer? Uh, let's just, the latest distributive, I'm gonna use version 11 in English and I'm gonna click download. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is actually a pretty pretty large file size. Thankfully, I have a uh, fast internet connection on my computer. Uh, but for those of you who don't fully understand what goes on when a antivirus software goes in to remove the package, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna skip ahead. Hi, I'm back. Now, let's go ahead and select Run to run the software. And we're gonna select Run to open it up. And Kaspersky, the virus removal tool, will actually install on your computer. But it's not installing a full antivirus suite or package. It's just a tool, uh, and the nice thing about it is once the tool is kind of installed on there, it'll download the latest definitions from Kaspersky, and then you can run this full scan and, and hopefully eliminate any viruses that you might have. Let's see here, hopefully it opens up here soon. I hate to keep you guys waiting too long, but in order to show you everything, of course, read and accept the licensing agreement. And we'll go ahead and start our software. There, that's it. This is all it is. is it's just this very basic thing. And uh, at this point, you just click Start Scanning, and it's going to actually scan through your entire computer system and hopefully find whatever your virus might be. If you find something, clean it up. Now, the next tool we want to go to is go back to my free download section and go to the ESET NOD32 tool. Man, it's the second time I've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and uh, we're gonna click to download it, and it's gonna bring you to ESET's online scanner. This one runs a little faster and a little better, and we're gonna say run ESET online scanner now, and it's gonna open it up. It might ask you to install some plugins. Let me go ahead and say yes. Sorry, my cat is behind me. Weirdo. Okay, gonna install the add-on, retry. and install. And this one's kind of cool because it's browser based. And then at this point you just click start. And as you can see, it's gonna download the virus signature database. Then it's gonna run through, scan, and remove them. Now, if these two tools do not find what you're looking for, remember, I have a whole bunch of other ones right on my website that you can use. Uh, maybe go in this order, let me bring them up. Go go to probably malware bytes, anti-malware. We're gonna do it again later in a different video because it's more malware removal. You might want to try that one. Uh, you also have Panta, uh, Panda Anti Rootkit. That one's pretty good. Rootkit Buster's like for real niche ones. It, it finds them occasionally. 
uh, McAfee Stinger's the same type. And, I mean, between all those, man, I'd be very surprised if it didn't find what you had on your computer and didn't properly remove it. So, I mean, this is really all there is to this video. We've officially gone through and we've scanned over using the most popular antivirus definitions in the market, uh, ESET, NOD32, and Kaspersky. They're, they're real, real popular and they're real thorough. And so we've kind of established whether or not there's viruses on there. So you've cleaned them up if you found them. And that's all we were doing in this video. So as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Stay tuned every Monday at 10 a.m. into the Faster XP series. We're going to actually get into tweaks and things like that later on. And there's tons of them. I'm going to have like 60 tips in this series. And also, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter if you want to actually see how I am normally. And uh, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Don't to leave. Uh, I already said that. And have a good day.